Zachariah. So your captain told you I was heading out, did she? Well, I should be grateful. It is good to see you. Perhaps for the last time. I'm leaving for the front, as is expected. I wish you could stay longer. Wish that I could as well. If not only to appease my concern for you. But their will moves more than my desire. So they separate us, as they always have. To keep us divided. And I fear to further isolate you. Stay wary, mindful. You are in their sights, my dear Zechariah. You are the newest initiate, the youngest. And so to them, the most attainable, and the shortest route to knowing our secret. <sighs> Such is our world. We are pawns in a chess game played by imbeciles, clinging to nothing but illusions of power. The real power that illusion brings. Take care, Zechariah. Take care. I will, my word, until we meet again, Master. I'm afraid this is more of a farewell. And it's Sean. Forgive me not. It is always sad to see a friend leave, especially when you know that he's going to risk his life every day. You must be feeling very lonely. It is up to you to earn a new friend to support you through hard times. A friend powerful enough. Have you thought about my request? What's a little secret shared against a strong friendship, after all? I would be honored to have you among my friends, Colonel. But, alas, I don't know what secret you're alluding to. I'm sorry. A pity indeed. Because you will find out, soon enough, that while I can be a great friend, I can also be a fierce enemy. See you later, Lieutenant. An entity of lesser size is always easier to manipulate than the sum of its parts. What I'm trying to say is, well, maybe, yeah, when talking to each little group, maybe you could... What the hell are you doing? Get back to work. You're putting a lot of lives at risk. They will die beneath the eye of Father Son if they go up to repair the roof. The man knows this, but does not care about them. Maybe you're too dumb to put it together. So let me spell it out for you, mutant. The roof needs to be fixed by your kind. Now. We don't care how many of you die doing it, either. You don't want to go up and repair the roof? Fine. Your choice. We'll just send your children and your elderly. All those too weak to rebel with you. Then, we'll execute you. You'll all die anyway, and without even doing any good. That what you want? The man would send our children. The man is... They will go back to work. Leave our children be. What's the problem? Why aren't you working? Their kind work like one. If one is hurt, they all cannot work. And now they have one who is wounded, so they are all helpless. But the men do not want to help the wounded. They just want him back on the roof. Where's your hurt friend? They may be able to help him. With basic medical equipment, we could cure this creature without a problem, Zachariah. Unfortunately, no amount of healing can fix his mutation. Here, your friend's as good as new. Back to normal. Thank you. The man was very nice. They will go back to work. 
now, and if they survive, we'll not forget what the man did for them. What does the man want? Just to talk to you. You need to go back to work. No, they will not. They will not die to go repair roofs broken by men. Men must find another way to fix it. Listen, I know it's dangerous work, and the odds are pretty high that some of you may die doing it. But if you don't, the whole city will suffer, and all of you in the pen will die. Not just a few. I know it's an enormous sacrifice to ask, but it's for the greater good. The man tells them lies, thinks they are stupid, but they know only men are beneath the hole in the roof. Only men will die for the destruction that other men did. They did not break it. Let the men fix what the men broke. And tells them the truth. They have no choice. They will go back to work to save the many. They wish the man would protect the city better in the future. So these sacrifices never have to happen again. Believe me, we're gonna try our best. The man must think about those going to die for him. Not forget what he asked of them. What they did. But now, they must go back to work. Let's go. You can't just sit around while the city's exposed. Get back to work. They would, but their tools are too damaged to work. With bad tools, they will be in the eye of father-son longer and die quicker. Let me see your tools. Maybe I can fix them. If the tools are made better, they can and will fix the roof. This fucking supervisor. Not providing the right tools because his workers are mutants? It's our lives that are at stake here. My entire family is in the slums. I fixed your tools. Should make the work go faster. The men made the tools like new. They will do as they promised and go fix the roof now. Oh, great. You're back. What do you want? I managed to stop the rebellion. The mutants should resume work soon. Well, there's a bit of good news. I'm sure it wouldn't have ended so well without your help. I would have lost my job, so thank you. <laughs>